Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and today we're going to have a look at an application called Evermeeting. And basically what you can do is you can set up meetings and have a certain number of functions which are going to make that meeting more organised and so on. I mean you could do it in something like Evernote, but with this here you get a few extra things that are specific to meetings that are going to help you out. Let's have a look at this one here, making YouTube videos. Okay, so here we are in a meeting that hasn't been run yet, and when you start the meeting, basically what you can do is you're going to click on Start, and it tells you that the meeting has started, and then you can click on the Record button, and now the recording has started, and so what's happening now is that the meeting is being recorded as audio, and it will go off to the servers, and you can have it done as a transcript. I think it'd be kind of nice if you could have it done so that the audio is available to users afterwards and there may be a way of doing that but I haven't found it in this application yet. Let's have a look in the basic info and see what we've got because there's a few things in this that you'd set up uh, prior to the meeting so let's click on pause for that for the moment and let's go to basic info. The title of the meeting you can put into there. You can put in your location, obviously this one's just at the computer but it could be anywhere. You set your date. Now you can't modify the planned date for a meeting because it's already being celebrated. I didn't know you celebrated meetings, there you go. So obviously you're going to set up the uh, date of the meeting before you get started and uh, so on. And you can do that just pressing this button over here. The next thing to do is to set the duration of the meeting. And well, let's have that set as 30 minutes. And then after that you want to go to the agenda and set up all the things that you're going to talk about in the meeting. So what we do, press on the plus button and you just put in your agenda, all the things that you're going to talk about. Now another thing that you can do is you can have transcriptions. Now this here is not going to have any transcriptions to see just yet because we haven't actually uh, sent anything off to be transcribed, but it can be done. And I have tried the transcription, the automatic transcription, and it's a pile of rubbish. It doesn't work very well. What you'll get back is a complete load of gobbledygook because it doesn't recognise your voice very well. There is manual transcription, which you pay for. I'd imagine that's going to work out quite well because it has to be done by human here, I presume, but it has to be paid for anyway. And then there are attachments. So let's sort out some attachments. Now the way that this works, it sends an email off to the person who's got to provide that attachment. So if I click on Upload Attachment, it says there we have sent you an email. So if I go into email now, so let's open up email. We'll go to this here. Look, here's the attachment. And basically you have to follow these steps. It says respond to this email, do not change the subject, attach the files and send this email to the same sender address. So basically what you have to do is do your attachment by doing a reply. So let's click on reply. So let's click on this button here. And let's choose something that is going to be small enough because I don't want to take too long for it to go. We'll go for iPad frame because it's only 89 kilobytes. And we'll click on choose file. And this should work. And we'll click on send. I did try this before and it actually didn't work. It said that there wasn't a thing attached to it or it was sent to the wrong address or something was changed. I just done it exactly as it was required and it didn't work. So let's go back into our application. At the moment it says the meeting has no attachments. Let's close that there. Now another thing that you're going to do is to have attendees. Now they use this bit here to tell attendees that they should be at this meeting. Fred Bassett is going to be in there. So you can just put the names in there if you want to, or what you can do is you can go to this button over on the side here and choose the people that you want to put into this. So I'm going to put myself into the meeting. Okay, let's put Fred Bassett in there again. So you can see he's got in there with an email this time. And the bit underneath there, it says shared with. So, so I'm going to share this meeting out to wizardgold.gmail.com. And if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me, that's the email address that you can use to send me questions. Okay, so let's click on save and we're updating our meeting. So this is the one we're working on, the purple one here, and we can uh, undo the pause and the recording has resumed. All of this is being recorded as we go along. Now we've got this little icon at the bottom, this little flag sort of icon, let's tap on that. And from that we can have a look at 
our agenda. So let's say we're going to actually start talking about recording with ScreenFlow. So let's tap on that there. And now basically what we're going to do is start talking about recording with ScreenFlow. And then maybe we want to put in some sort of notes. So we're going to have some sort of comment. I'm using ScreenFlow 4 to record this. And hopefully the ScreenFlow 4 is going to work very well because I've only just upgraded it. So you can see that it actually had to turn off the recording of the audio for the meeting while you're making your dictation there. Let's click on OK. The recording has resumed and we continue on with our meeting. So we've got a bit further through our meeting. We've talked about some stuff and we might want to put in some of these tags or something like this. So we can actually sort of put some details in here. So this is some sort of tag about uh, follow up, for instance, follow up by Fred. OK, and we can also change this tag as well. So let's click on this here. So basically, if it's going to follow up, we tap on the arrow pointing to the right. So it says it requires follow up. That's just got rid of the bit that I typed in there already. OK, so there you go. So choose your tag first and then put in your little note to go with it afterwards. Either that or go back to this thing here again and click on the comment. So there we go. We've got some more information in there about what's going on. Let's click on this thing over on this side here and see what else we can do. We can tap on this button on the end here. And that is the to do item. Let's go into the details for the to do. And let's just put in stuff there. We'll just choose a, an address from this here. Go for a date on that. We'll put today's date on this here. And I'm going to click on OK. Now that should send an email out to me to tell me that there's something that I have got to do. Let's choose recording some video. And basically, we've got the next topic there that we're going to talk about. So everything with this is going absolutely perfectly. And at the end of this, you just say, OK, the meeting's over. We can stop the recording. So that's going to be recorded in our meeting minutes as well. There you go. Recording stopped. And we can click on End. So let's click on End. Meeting finalised. So everything is done with the meeting. And that will also send out an email to the participants of the meeting to say that the meeting's over and send out the list of what happened in the meeting. And it's going to take a little bit of time because it has to get it all together. And I think it puts it out as a PDF. We'll be able to check all this out at a later stage. So let's click on basic info. There are no transcripts yet to be done this year. And it still has no attachments. Although you did see that I actually sent in an attachment. And as I say, it didn't work last time and maybe it's not going to work this time either. OK, so there you go. We're done with that. We've got four meetings in this here at the moment. And at the moment, as it stands, you can only have up to five meetings. And as you can see, I was sent an email and it says I was assigned a task to do stuff. OK, so that's pretty good. And it should send me out another email shortly with the details of the meeting that has been finished. OK, let's look at the settings for this here. Now in the settings, you can see we've got five meetings is the maximum meetings we can have. This transcriptions, if you go with the automatic ones, which are absolutely completely worthless, waste of time because they come back with such garbage. I've got no manual subscriptions available to me. And then the automatic ones, I've used 30 seconds of that already, more or less, and so on. So let's have a look at products. So you can see what it costs to use Evermeeting. OK, so these are the pricing terms. If you can have 100 meetings, and by the way, this is all in Spanish because I'm here in Spain. If you're going to have 100 meetings, it's going to cost 18 euros, well, 17.99. And if you're going to have 10 meetings, it's going to cost 2 euros 69. So it's not terribly expensive to use this application. Let's go to iCal. Now in iCal here, we've got some synchronization. I've got on on this one here and I've got to click on seven days. So let's click on save and there you go. Choose calendar and import deadline. I can't choose calendar because it's not giving me the option to do so. Let's click on cancel. Let's go to iconography. Now this is useful because it gives you all the details of what these icons mean. So you've got your meeting list there. It tells you what's available in this here. So you've got the fact where there's a transcription, whether it's been shared, the agenda, audio, mark, and all this sort of stuff. You've got your marks that you put into the meeting as you go. We've got the audio icons there. And it tells you what's happening with the audio. So there's quite a few things there to check out if you're going to have a look at this application. Do you want to do that before you get really sort of uh, using it in anger in a meeting? OK, so another thing that you're going to want to do is go to the transcript thing here. The audio is available to users afterwards. And, then maybe and what's going to happen this here is the transcript has started. 
Let's have a look in the basic info and see what we've got, because there's a few things... It plays while it's doing the transcript. So from this here, you can choose how much of the audio you want to have transcribed. So with this here, we've just got 35 seconds sort of going through this here and so on. And I can say stop with this here at some point in time, and it will just transcribe the audio that it's played up until that point. OK, so here we are back in mail again. And it tells me that the meeting is available. So I'll go to the meeting list on your device to check it out. And all the details in there, you see where the recording was started, paused and resumed. We've got all the details in there, all the notes that were made. It tells us that the one job there was assigned out to Fred Bassett and there was another job assigned out to David Allen, was a gold. And all the details of the meeting are in there and it's all timed. And everything's just tickety-boo, isn't it? It's lovely. So you can see that this ever meeting actually has got some nice little features in there which are well worth using if you do um, professional type of meetings. Let's uh, pause this here now and see what happens. Let's go to this here. Okay, so this is the transcription. We've selected to transcribe 1 minute and 38 seconds of this here. And I can't go with a manual because um, I don't have any of that that's paid for. And I have to go with automatic, and I've got 29 minutes and 28 seconds available to me. What I have to do on this one here is click on send transcription, or click on buy if I'm going to actually pay for this. It does take a while for the transcription to happen, even with the automatic one, so it's a couple of hours before the actual transcription came back. But there you go, um, you can have it transcribed, and the automatic one, well, as I say, it's a bit of a waste of time, because it comes back complete gobbledygook. Rather than show you the details from the transcription that was in that one there. This is a transcription that came back yesterday from one I was trying. It isn't anything like what I actually said, so it doesn't work very well. You might be better off paying for the transcription service and have it done manually. But apart from that, this Ever meeting looks quite useful and as I say, if you do do meetings, then this could be the, just the application for you. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus. Hope you've clicked on that like button. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.